Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily 3D modeling challenge where today I am making this render of Hollow Knight. As always leave a comment if you have a challenge for me but otherwise my time starts now. So my motivation for this was to sort of follow up to my Hornet video. Uh, once, I, once again I've never played <laughs> any of these games but I think the characters just look really fun and simple and easy to model so I wanted to give that a try. So I want to make sort of this kind of render because his shapes seem very very simple and I already have some ideas of how I'm going to go about doing this. So I guess I'll go for yeah I'll go for this one but my time has already started, so I'll just begin modeling. So go to a front view, and I want to start with the body. Uh, no, I'll start with the head. So his head's a little wider, and I'm going to use box modeling for this. So we need to give it a subsurf, maybe like two, three, sure. Okay, so now we got to define his head shape a bit. That's actually might, might even be too much like that. And then he has two horns growing out of his head. So I'll cut it in the middle and then we can inset individual, fill it on the Y. Um, and it looks like they're coming more out of the side of his head actually. So what I'll actually do is I'll go ahead and grab each of these lo like loops, oh, Alt Z. And then I'll say to sphere. And I just want to make them more of a circle. So just very simply, quickly do that. Okay, so now he's a bit, a bit more spherical. Might even bring it in on the sides a bit. Okay. And then to make the horns come off the side of his head like that, what I'll actually do is we can bevel both of these edges to be something like that, and then inset, scale on the Y, and then just extrude along normals. Control Z, Control Z, X, Y, Alt extrude, extrude faces along normals. So we'll extrude along normals like that. So it looks like they come out, but they do form sort of like a horned shape. So yeah, wait, medium point. That's not how I want it. <laughs> so, okay. Why don't we symmetrize this, this mesh? Is that a mirror modifier? Modifier, mirror, it goes. Okay, so. Looks like his horns make like a sort of a horn shape, or maybe like a round shape like that, I guess. And we can sort of make them a bit rounder, make them a bit shorter, over like this. And we'll just make the thickness a bit more consistent. And then he's got like nubbies in, in the horn. So I'll add a loop cut there. And then I'm not liking how this geometry is geometry-ing. So I might, let's see what this does. Merge at last, merge at last. And then, uh, no, that's bad. <laughs> Maybe I need to just slide both of these in. Or, oh wait, instead, what if we just merge at last? Okay, now that, that's a bit better now. And then this can be, each of these guys can be scaled in a bit, just to accentuate the roundness a bit more. Okay, still a little weird, but it's a bit better. So now that we have that extra definition, we can take these, go to front view, pull them in, and then the important part is we can just bring the sharpness up. Okay, that is his head done just the brunch shape at least okay now i'll do the body and we'll do another cube and yeah why not mirror subsurf uh, x v e x oops clipping okay so that's just that's how we'll start with our mesh so now it's going to be scaled down here because his his body much like hornets also creates like a triangle so yeah i think that's already sort of good enough and then maybe i'll bring this up a little bit where we can inset a face you know, we might even just drag it down and see how that looks. Okay, um, it's pretty good. I don't think it's what we're going for, so I think I'll extrude the face. No. Inset and drag down is what we'll want to do. Looking at it again, and then I think we can make this edge a bit sharper, maybe. You bring this guy in. The legs definitely shouldn't be this this wide. That, um, and maybe actually it does need another defining, you know, loop. And we can scale these out on the X, make it a bit, make it much more square. See, now he's too, he's too wide. And then I think if we go to a front view, so I'm trying to just create this, the right silhouette here. Um, I think we'll need to bring these out to the side a bit, at which point we can shift E, we can de-define that. So do like so, and I think that's, I think that's right. Okay, now I'll add in a plane, merge it at the center, move it up here. And now what I'll do is I'll add in a skin modifier and a subsurf, maybe like two divisions. And I'll use these to create the strands of his, of his cape. Yeah. So why don't we go from like the bottom for a second so we can move that out there. Okay. Now I'll just have to be very careful in how we shape this out. Cause it looks like he has one part that comes down and then kind of comes out Oop. and then control A that down, control A, control A just a bit and then extrude it out one more maybe and now what we'll do is which is something i learned during my hornet um <laughs> speed model is that i can throw a subdivision before that and make a nice smooth curve anyways uh, now i'll just like duplicate this and put the 3d cursor there okay wait here shift s cursor to selected select these <clears throat> duplicate it once and i'll select 
the 3D cursor as the pivot point and just rotate it around. <clears throat> okay, so that's not enough, obviously. But what I can do now is turn proportional editing on and then just start sort of sculpting this. And I'll hit medium point again. Okay, yeah, this is all wrong. <laughs> Move it up. So it's right for that one strand, but not for the rest of them. So I guess my little rotate, rotate and shift strategy didn't, didn't work out how I wanted it to. <clears throat> that's fine, but why don't we manually place them around his body now? Maybe something like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. Rotate it around, move it out like that. Okay, uh, we can just start shaping this a bit now. And I want to pick based on the viewing angle how much depth I want to go into with these. Because, you know, those like three strands might be fine to get the effect we're going for. Of course, I don't want to be lazy, but, you know, it's okay to be... <laughs> if there's any place to cut corners, <clears throat> it's during a 3D modeling studio challenge. So we'll give them a few more. <coughs> okay. Um... It's looking pretty good. I want to add a little bit more chaos to the ends here. That maybe, and if he's going to be viewed from like about yay angle, I think that's a fine start on that side. Now what I'll do is duplicate, duplicate these, scale it on the X by negative one, that, and these don't go down as far as this guy does. Instead, it goes down a bit, then when it blows over this way a bit more, and it exposes his little sword. So start there, just like last time, place it over. And it looks like we really only need one more. So just kind of place one in the center there. Let you come out and then you come out. Okay, all right, 15 minutes left. We're doing good on time. So now we'll do the eyes real quick and that'll be very simple. We'll start with a circle, rotate on the X by 90, tab, make it a face, scale it this way, scale it this way. And then I'll add a mirror modifier and mirror it along his face. And then the next modifier is a shrink wrap, where we'll shrink wrap it to the face. Very simply, just like that. Um, now it looks super, super weird right now. And I wanna object shade smooth. And then here, why don't we do textured view? And then I'll just assign these a quick eyes material where we want like a completely matte. Or actually, no, why don't, why don't we do a UV sphere? And then instead of a shrink wrap, I'll add a Boolean subtract and just subtract the eyes from the head to make them like actual like eye sockets. So do a mirror, we'll do a Boolean. Or actually Boolean, where we want to do the difference between this object. That's not what we want. Add the intersect. Or wait, why don't we do, which one do I do the Boolean, Boolean on? I don't know. The difference of this object? No. Is it the intersect? Hmm. I'm just not sure. Maybe it isn't on this object. Maybe it is on, on this. Maybe I should do the intersect of that guy. No. <laughs> is it the union of this? No. That joins them. Surely it's got to be the difference between this and that, right? Okay, it looks like it might be. So we'll scale this down, move it into the head a bit, make his eyes a bit wider, and then yeah, we'll mirror this along this. Now, I want to try just, why don't we shifty all of this and then hide it also in the render. Or no, here, we'll just make a collection, drag it all there, whatever. But why don't we try applying this modifier and why don't we apply all of them? Rather, apply, apply, and apply. So now I'll hide these. Okay, now it has the, the geometry we want. So I'll go shading, a new slot, or I'll just give it the eyes material, the sign, and let's make it dark, make it a little shiny actually. But other than that, um, object smooth. Okay, so that's a good start. <clears throat> Hollow Knight's skull is just material and it needs to be, I just have maybe a bit of, hmm, I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking we make it rough, make it a bit darker, maybe sort of like a bone color like that. And then I think the specular, I, I'd like to add subsurface to this, but I think what I'll do is make the specular, I'll just make it tint reddish. So if we go into rendered mode, maybe all the way red, where can we see some of that red action? The answer is nowhere. Um, oh well, let's make it white again. That's fine. All right, maybe object smooth by angle. Okay, that fixes it. <clears throat> All right, so now we'll the cape, we'll call it cape, where it needs to be just a dark blue. Is it? It leans green, sort of a dark teal. It's very rough and it's shaded smooth. Body, object, shade smooth, new, call it body, <clears throat> and it's just black and it's rough. Okay, now we have eight minutes, so I'll throw together a little scene for our guy. And I think I have to apply these for the object to actually shade smooth. Perfect. So I think I want to just make, I just want to replicate that. So, but I, I don't have the time to make, you know, super detailed, you know, rocky cliff like this. So I'll just make a basic low poly cliff. Mm -hmm. Move it up. Maybe move it out. 
and we'll go to camera view options or and view camera to view. Let's make it looking up at our little guy. Okay, and now what I wanna do is, I do think we have the time to add in a little bit of detail, like so. Okay, maybe we just like throw on the random brush and just push and pull some verts around a little. Um, maybe we make leggies viewable. And Hall Night fans, you'll have to let me know if I'm, you know, accurate in, you know, baby fighting him because that's very much how I'm interpreting this character, because he's, he's very much just a little guy. You know, I mean, look at his proportions even. So I want to make, make him more so over there. And now for the lighting. So that point is way too close, but it looks like we need a an area. So we'll start with an area light that faces down on him, just to add a bit of, and I think that's where the reddish hue is coming from. So I'll just tint it red and give it like, and give it some strength, maybe more maybe back it needs to be very soft so maybe even like a thousand from this angle okay so we'll just take advantage of you know light fall off like that okay and then there's another area light that comes in from the bottom so we'll bring this down bring it over bring it like that and make it like maybe 250. there's definitely a notion in the image that it's coming from below and the light from below is also leaning warm but it's a little cooler version of warm maybe it's brighter maybe it's even brighter okay i'm liking this um we can see some of these we have four minutes i think i think i can throw together a little sword like that oh and i also want to make this shading new material we'll call it cliff <clears throat> um we'll just make it like gray and rough <laughs> maybe it's darker gray even and then the world color that's a tough one so last time i made i made hornets sort of a dark a green sort of complementary but here i'm thinking it needs to be see but it's like a lighter background so maybe i add in like i'm thinking okay i'm thinking how i can achieve that like background effect and i think volumetric lighting may be the move here so i'll add in a volume that's not what i want add in a cube rotate it this way bring it back scale it up bring it back and then i want another Get over, scale it up, get back. New material, principle, the volume. So we'll add in a volume like so, and then how does it look? Okay, um, it's casting a shadow on the volume when I actually think we need our little guy to be in the volume like that. And we'll just take the density to like 0 0.2 maybe, maybe even lower, 0 0.1. And the color needs to be darker, bluer, brighter, yellower. Maybe not as intense, no, 0.05 maybe 0.005 too low 0 0.01 0 0.06 0 0.03 okay uh, i'm thinking i don't like how this light is acting with this so i think it's like control l no i can't do the light linking thing here so maybe i just need to add in more light from the top that is like a like a de very desaturated make it like 5000 and the light is definitely coming from the bottom so we'll make it come from the bottom and I want to make it bluer. Okay. All right. I actually think this looks really good. Okay. Uh, last thing, 48 seconds. Do I want to add an outline or do I want to shape the light a bit more? I think the answer is lighting. I think this might be one of my best renders to date. So actually, you know what? Why don't we just render image and... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where's... <laughs> Where are my spheres? Render image. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna call this good uh, as our completed render of Hollow Knight from the game Hollow Knight. So as always, if you have another challenge for me, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the model. But as always, this has been Patrick. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.